Gucci. Read the book of Gucci. Because we believe there should be no governmental intrusion in the pulpit. I would actually support Jeremiah Wright's right to say what he says. Yes. Now, I think he's wacko. I think he's right. wrong. I think he's biblically inaccurate because right. right. he advocates what's called liberation theology, right. which is not biblical at all. But he has the right to do that. I would defend his right to do that. And I would say that should apply to all clergy persons, that was all faiths, and there should be no governmental intrusion in the pulpit. Some people mistakenly assume that we as pastors somehow cut a deal with the IRS and said, we won't be political if, you won't, if you'll give us tax exemption. That could be farther from the truth. The IRS didn't exist until 1862. This whole notion that the government, the government cannot tax us came from our founding fathers because they knew the correct definition of the separation of church and state. Wow. They knew what the federal government, what the government can tax, it can destroy, it can kill. Mm -hmm. So consequently, they said no taxation of any church under any condition, so we have an authentic separation of church and state. That's the way they originally intended it. And it's been flipped on its side, and the result is all kinds of, of closing in by the government on the church to keep us silenced, except in our, it's just in our pulpits, and even then it's somehow questionable. So I'm saying no more of that. There's a rising up in America and pastors saying no more. And and I would just pose the question to those who are not quite convinced of this, how's it worked out for us this last 58 years <laughs> of silence? How's yeah. it going? How many more communities are more righteous than they were 58 years ago? Yeah. Not a one.